Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Ben Apple and today I am building four itsy bitsy little cottages that each represent the four seasons. I'm very excited. If you're interested in this build, you can download it on the gallery. My origin idea is Pineapple YT. It has been on the gallery for a while now because we have entered pre-recording world, kind of, sort of, ish. If you know me or you have stuck around for one video at least, uh, I'm pretty sure you know that I'm in grad school now yeah yes well not well tomorrow by the time you're watching this I will have officially had my first day of grad school um the uh, calendar yes um <laughs> I'm sorry I'm nervous and excited and a whole bunch of things right now um organized is not one of them and so you're welcome but <laughs> um yeah, so basically I am going to be changing my schedule. I kind of was sort of officially, unofficially posting every Sunday, um, kind of in the early morning-ish uh, for Pacific time. And now I'm going to be posting once every one and a half weeks. So basically you'll see me post every other Sunday and then in between that you'll see a Wednesday post. And this is just so that what I pre-recorded could last me longer because my first, I have summer quarter and it's only a month long, but I have classes every day, every weekday from early in the morning till 420, which is every single day I get out at 420, which is just, it's just really funny. And I don't think I'll ever really stop laughing at it. Um, <laughs> which I know makes me immature, but then again, I live in Washington, so I feel like I'm allowed to make that joke. But anyways... <laughs> Oh no, my microphone did things. Carefully places to not make a huge amount of noise. Okay, hopefully we're good. But anyways, you might have noticed I changed lots. That's because I could not fit four houses on that one small lot I was originally working on. It was kind of um, never going to work on that small of a lot, but I purposefully wanted to stay on a small lot because I wanted to keep these houses small and I wanted to keep this build small. And so everything's kind of crowded together. Probably, it would probably look better if they weren't so crowded together. But I think it kind of makes it look like a nice little community. Um, so yeah, we have four houses in total. Winter, spring, summer, fall. I bounce between all of them. And they kind of all have the same sort of sloped roof shape. Uh, two of them are built on diagonals, which is headache and I need to stop building on diagonals <laughs> but I thought it made it the the build look better like better like spaced out and also just in general building on diagonal can look so good it's just it's such a pain it's it's a pain to build because everything's either too too small or too big there's like no in between because you're building on the day it's just it's a headache and then when you go to furnish it heaven help you when you get to the cabinets and the counters because like they're on a weird snapping grid system and it doesn't make any sense but we aren't even there yet <laughs> so far I have just built the four little cottages this is about the shape and the positions that they take also that window I just put up that's now base game which I was really surprised it came from parenthood the really one of the the taller windows the the shorter one is still is still parenthood and so I'm just slightly confused as to why they did that like I mean I guess I'm fine with it like in some ways I'm kind of petty and I'm like well but I paid for that but at the end of the day I would have paid for it, it, the pack anyways even the window hadn't been in there so who who am I to complain um basically nobody I am nobody to complain I just like it it's my hobby it's my passion <laughs> oh my gosh you guys <laughs> I feel like I'm extra like, baka, because <laughs> and making noises like that just because I am really nervous about grad school starting. Like I've I've had friends, you know, tell me, oh, it's gonna be fine, you know, and like, but then again, I've also had people gift me giant like coffee mugs and been like with a knowing wink, like you're gonna need this, and I'm just like, what? <laughs> Like, is the, is the coffee consumption going to, to, to need to be, like, a mug the size of my head? Okay, I'm scared now. 
you scared me. But then, you know, I have other friends who are just like, it's fine. You're, they're, they want you to succeed. You can't fail. And I'm like, I, the, the two ends of the spectrum, I've heard a lot of things. And basically, I'm at the point where I just need to experience it to know. But that doesn't stop that little, like, anxious voice in my head that agrees with the person who gave me the coffee mug that I'm going to need that coffee mug. Gosh darn it. <laughs> it's going to be hell. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I also, I just haven't done school in a while. Um, it's been, I guess, almost two years now. Um, and maybe more like one where I, I haven't done school, so I worry that I'm out of practice. But anyways, we could talk about the build more. Um, here you can see I'm trying to make this like, this is the summer house. And so I wanted to make it a little bit bigger because it's on the diagonal. And the two houses that are on diagonals do not have a um, upstairs level because in The Sims 4, we can't put stairs on a diagonal, which is, I don't, I don't think I'll ever understand why we can't put stairs on a diagonal. Everything else goes on a diagonal, but not the stairs. Heaven forbid, heaven forbid they make the diagonal feature more functional. <laughs> Sorry. I <laughs> Okay, we're fine. Um, but yeah, so I added, I wanted the summer home to stand out and I wanted to give it a little bit more room. So I gave it like this giant like greenhouse sunroom and it ended up being like my favorite part of the entire build. Like I just thought it was so cute. And here you can also see that I'm trying to decide on coloring for the houses. At first I thought that they would all have the same wallpaper in different colors, but that really didn't work because the colors are quite limited. So the only, I think, yeah, the winter house and the fall house got this, but the other two houses, what the summer house ended up being bright red, which was a, a really good decision, I think. It was, we were kind of, I, I built this on stream, like so many of my builds nowadays, and we were kind of like brainstorming, like, well, what color should it be? What color screams summer? And, you know, everyone was kind of throwing out, oh, yellow and like turquoise and maybe bright green, those kinds of things. And then I was kind of just like, how about red? you know, like a barn and really lean into that sort of like almost like barn vibe. And so the whole house and like the outside of it ended being red. And I think it really worked because like, you know, this like brown really works for the autumn and the sort of like dark, like almost mint, like or like sprucey green works for the the winter one. It did not work for the, the spring one. We ended up making that one. I think this this like scalloped blue and that also looked fantastic but all of these houses I, I did try and make them look like they belong together <laughs> like they would have been built around the same time and maybe by the same people maybe it's like a community build that is a thing people get together sometimes and buy like a a plot of land and then they you know kind of share it and build houses on it I once went to an interview to be a nanny for one of those at one of those places um I didn't get the job which <laughs> I'm not sure why. I think the dad didn't like me. I don't know. That's that's really neither here nor there, but I started talking about it. Mostly just because the houses were like cute and little and super adorable. But way back, oh gosh, like four years now, I think. <laughs> that was so long ago, four or three years ago. Um, I was trying to find a nanny job and like I just went on a tour of like, basically all the houses in my area and like all of the different types of families there were so many I it was quite interesting it was a little bit more stressful at the time but I'm kind of really glad it happened because I did get a lot of stories like once I'm I have told the story before but once I um interviewed at a place where they wanted a nanny slash pet sitter um and they had a lot of pets one of which was a wallaroo which is a cross between a kangaroo and a wallaby. <laughs> and it wore a diaper and they would keep it inside. <laughs> and like I met this wallaroo while I interviewed and I had a hedgehog at the time and I told them that and the mom immediately, the moment I said the word like hedgehog, she like, like flipped her head over to her daughter and she was like, no, we're not getting one. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I didn't get that job. I'm, I'm, I'm really glad. I'm really glad I didn't end up having to take care of a wallaroo while they were on vacation. 
They also had like a, a St. Bernard and a Great Dane, which I would have loved to have taken care of. That would have been fantastic. But that and a Wallaroo and like the other, I think like five pets. I think they had a parrot too. I, I don't know. There was a lot going on in that household. Um, anyways, unfortunately, I did miss recording mm, all of the landscaping and I'm really sorry. I'm also not because this build ended up being a lot longer than I thought it would be. So I did keep in, I think, a lot of the layout of the places. So hopefully that, I, I mean, I've never actually heard anyone complain that I've left something out just because these videos tend to get really long. And to be completely honest, I'm going to guess that the majority of you aren't super closely watching. Like not as like a, that's a bad thing, but just as in, I mean, when I watch speed builds, I mostly just like to look at the pretty pictures at the beginning and the pretty pictures at the end and then listen to the pretty person talk. Um, that's, <laughs> I don't know, guys, <laughs> send help. I'm fine. Um, but yeah, I can't stress enough that I am very anxious right now. I mean, I'm fine. I'm just, it's. It's, I'm at, I'm in one of those anxiety things where like, there's nothing really I can do about it except for try to prepare and be on top of things. But the anxiety is still going to be there until I, I figure out for myself what grad school is going to take and what it's going to need. Cause I, I am just so concerned that all of my hobbies are going to be consumed. I know that's not right. Like I know, but I'm also at the same time, I just, it's going to be hard because I the last couple months, I haven't been working at all. I've just been doing all of my little hobbies. I have tons of, I have too many hobbies, but the biggest ones are YouTube and the streaming. And so I've had all the time in the world and I've had time to just like play video games with my friends, to talk to people whenever, no matter what time zone they're in. I'm usually awake at some point. Um, that's going away. <laughs> it's going to be a lot more restricted. And so I am as happy as I am, ecstatic as I am to get into grad school. There is also that part of me that's like, but the freedom. But I, I know that I, I want to do what I'm doing. It's just, I'm just a complainer. It's fine. But anyways, if you hadn't noticed, we're working on the winter house. I, I very heavily leaned into the Christmas theme um, with this house. Lots of reds and whites and a couple of splashes of green here and there, mostly the reds and the whites. Um, so, but it is very Christmassy. I definitely could have gone with a more Hanukkah vibe, but I didn't think of it. Um, and so I apologize. I could have maybe done a little bit more there, but I do actually have, if you're interested, two different Hanukkah theme builds, um, which I'm always really excited about. And every once in a while, I'll get a comment on those just out of the blue of somebody being like, oh my God, I can't believe you did this. This is so cool. And I'm always just like, hey, hey. <laughs> That, that's actually about the, the noise I make. But we've moved on to the spring house. I make a lot of weird noises. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Here is me. The, here's the diagonal, which the Sims team needs to fix whatever shadow glitch is going on with the diagonals. Because look at that horrendous shadow in the corner. I tried to cover it up with like some knickknack clutter stuff. But like, what? Why? I don't know, but it is, yeah. <laughs> so the the diagonal houses were definitely the hardest to furnish and to figure out the layout. Um, I actually had to switch um, a couple of like doors and exterior stuff around on this build, which I didn't have to do for the summer home. The summer home worked out pretty nicely, but I really love the flower one. And that's the one I really am sad I didn't get the recording of me doing the landscaping because Ah, the flower working its way up the side of the house is just fantastic. And I have to do that in another build. Uh, but it, I think when it comes to flower and ivy, in my personal opinion, it has to be done sparingly. Otherwise, it kind of looks like a bit of a mess. But like, I mean, usually it will... St in, so, oh, mm, words. So in real life, usually ivy on anything will look quite pretty. Um, you know, flowers overgrown on anything will look quite pretty but that's because it's nature and nature makes everything look slightly different and in the sims it's all very uniform and so it can get hard it can be hard to get like a good looking ivy because you just use have to use the same couple of pieces of ivy over and over again and for whatever reason the human mind is able to pick that out and at least mine is and tell me that that doesn't look quite right so i yeah oh oh boy oh boy 
Um, here's the bedroom. I, I really like doing this one because I got to use all the fun pastel colors and that is my favorite bed in the game. It's, that's my favorite bed and my favorite swatch. I love the like raw, like, I was about to say raw iron, but that doesn't make any sense. But I love like, you know, the, the wood that's been like curved around and that looks so cool. And I love, I love the color yellow. It's my favorite color. I would between yellow and orange, which is exciting because the fall house features a lot of pops of orange. And I was like, so down for it. I was like, let's just go wild with our orange dreams because orange is the color that not a lot of people like. Um, it's considered to be a cheap color for whatever reason, I guess maybe because the dye for it isn't expensive. I don't know, but I love that color orange. But I also, the, I recognize that orange has a time and a place and there are things that I wouldn't want to be orange. I can't think of them off the top of my head. <laughs> but you know, here's that shadow glitch again, in case you were, you were wondering if yes, it does pop up in my other in my other build. This is the summer house. Um, I actually recorded this, I got really confused for a second because I was like, did, did, you, did you leave out the fall house footage? Because that's like your favorite house interior. Like spring house exterior is my favorite, interior is the fall house, and the summer is like, you know, the winter one is my least favorite. I don't know. I just, it doesn't call to me as much as the other ones do. But I got confused because I recorded the fall one first, but then I remembered that I rearranged this so that they would go in the order of the seasons of winter, spring, summer, fall. Um, yeah, I figured we might as well <laughs> go in that order. Uh, maybe, I don't know why I thought people would be confused if I didn't, but I confused myself by <laughs> doing it the other way. Okay, hmm. but yeah, this the interior of this house doesn't actually have a lot of reds. It's got kind of like almost like a sandy like looking floor and it's got blue walls and it's really bright. And I do, I did like, I didn't think that I would like how the summer house turned out because of all of the four seasons, we've had summer in The Sims for like too long. It's like reverse chronicles of Narnia. Like we haven't had eternal winter, you know, like... Um, we, we don't need Aslan to save us from eternal winter in, in, or some, yeah, eternal winter in The Sims. We need him to save us from eternal summer. Um, I, that, that wasn't a really funny joke, but I laughed at it anyways. <laughs> yeah, so we've had summer for so long that I didn't think that I would enjoy, um, building with it, but I actually really did. Um, like, at the end, once I kind of got more inspired, I also, coming up, in a month about because I've really scheduled these far out I have a modern summer build coming up and I'm really excited for that because I figured with all of the season type going on it would be nice to also recognize that yes although we have had summer for forever it is still a season and we sh we, we can celebrate it especially because we're like in the middle of summer right now so I I swear everyone's everyone is dying of the heat uh whenever I stream I almost always get somebody who comes to the chat and is like, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm doing good, but I'm dying because it's so hot or I'm sweating. <laughs> and like, I've had streams where I, I've been going for a few hours and like just almost everyone who pops in is like, oh yeah, I'm good. Except for I'm dying from heat exhaustion. <laughs> so it's really warm. Today I actually went outside. Well, I usually go, outside. I go outside like almost three times a week. That, that sounds kind of sad. <laughs> now that I say it out loud, but I do to jog, um, but I jog today. And then also I had to go to campus to get my student ID card. And like, it was it really, I was surprisingly easy to get my student ID card, but like for the life of me, I could not navigate campus. And I was just like, oh my God. And it was so hot and so sunny. And I wasn't wearing sunscreen because I didn't think it would take that long to get to wherever I was going and I was sweating and uncomfortable and the story really isn't all that interesting except for I want you to vividly picture me even if you're not quite sure what I look like just like staring at my phone and like turning around in a slow circle trying to tell which direction it's pointing me in like a compass because I was relying on google maps to take me where I needed to go and I got really frustrated with it because I'd be like I'm walking in the right direction and then I'd look look at it closer and I'd be like oh I'm not. <laughs> you were right, Google Maps. And like, I kept having to be like, okay, just reroute. Like, I, I went the wrong way. I know. Just reroute, Google. Just reroute. <laughs> Which you would think Google Maps would be a lot easier to follow when you're walking than when you're driving. But it's actually a lot harder for some reason. Maybe that's just me, but I don't know. 
I was having a hard time. But here is the Autumn House, which I love all of the pops of orange. We have talked about this, but I'm bringing it up again because orange. Um, yeah, I probably should have sang there. But I kind of knew that I would love this house just because it, it uses the glass roofing. And I just, I love using the glass roofing. I have to kind of restrict myself sometimes because it doesn't work in every single build. But when it does work, it looks so pretty. But like with the glass roofing, you kind of have, you can't have any walls running underneath it because it looks weird, you know? Uh, so you have to always have it like an open space underneath it. And then also you can't really have it running into like other things because it's a glass roof so you can see where it intersects. So that makes it kind of difficult. This living room is also difficult because I wanted that orange seat, gosh darn it. But if I had like the house is a little bit bigger and I had one tile space on either side of the orange seat, that would have been really easy. But I wanted a fireplace so it took up that other one and then I didn't really have a place to put a chair and so... It, it's it's a little cramped, but it works. And I love doing this trick of the different wreaths. Those like autumnal wreaths that we got are so cute. And I put a wreath on every single house because if you have laundry day, then I feel like you have a wreath for every season because we have one that's made of flowers. We have um, a traditional like sort of holly wreath and we have those sort of um, twig and acorn and like leaf wreath that you see over uh, the, uh, chip, chip, the, that's the fireplace. <laughs> um, and I put that on the outside of this house too. And then for summer, I used the wreath that we got from the laundry day because we had like one other wreath that's like kind of like a ribbon wreath. And it, it looks really, it looks like somebody took a styrofoam tube and like, or well, ring and like covered it in fabric and like put a bow on it and was like, yeah, let's go. Um, that's really not my favorite of the wreaths. Uh, it looks very cartoonish to me, which I guess works in this kind of game. But look, even the washing machine is orange. Huh. Penelope is pleased. And it's so pleased she's talking in the third person like a maniac. Um, <laughs> grad school's coming, guys. <laughs> Hopefully, I've, I've basically, um... I basically pre-recorded four builds, like I said, to last me through the summer, and um, I've, like, recorded them, I've made the intros for them, I've um, edited the footage down so they're reasonable, I've um, done the sort of outro credits for all of them, so all that's left for me to do is just sit down and record, and I was like, I can do that. I can sit down for however long the video is and just record it, and that should be pretty easy to manage once every one and a half weeks so you know hopefully my next voiceover won't be such a like Grah! mess um I don't know why the chicken noise is what I I rely on to make my stressed noise apparently when I'm stressed I turned into a Grah! chicken so <laughs> you know but anyways I wanted to mention something about the laundry machine before I started babbling about other stuff so yes um if you're actually using this lot for like multiple families, um, I'd recommend like maybe removing the laundry machine because it looks cute. I love it. Um, but there's only there's only the hamper in here. And so I'm not quite sure. I don't play with in games laundry a huge amount, but I think all of the laundry in this lot will go to this one household, which is, <laughs> I don't know why fall got the, the short end of the deal where it's like, oh, oh, you get to do all of the other season's laundry. Have fun. I feel like that'd make more sense for summer, like drying laundry and stuff. But you know, that's not how it ended. Also, oh, we're ending. Anyways, I hope you guys all really enjoyed this build. Um, I will be back again in about a week and a half, and I will see you guys next time. Like, comment, subscribe, that sort of thing, I guess. We're in the, I, I failed because I'm still talking. But anyways, bye!